Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome finally to my first ever benchmarking video which compares the Unigine engine, uh, Heaven engine running in Ubuntu 14.10 versus Windows 7. The good thing about this benchmark is that I actually can use OpenGL for both the operating systems which is awesome. So it's a bit of a fairer test to showcase. Um, and basically I've been wanting to do these uh, tests uh, to compare Windows versus Ubuntu uh, Linux for a couple of years now and I've recently seen that Penguin Recordings has been uploading quite a few of them and I commented on his video just saying that I want to do them as well and uh, he wasn't forced to prefer me doing it because it showcases different hardware doing the same sort of tests um, so yeah because I have a GTX 980 uh, as shown at the bottom so it's better to have more benchmarks out there on similar hardware sort of using the same operating systems just to get a fairer example of how the end how Linux compares to Windows but as you can see so far the the engine is it's running okay uh, on both platforms to be honest on the single screen uh, I'm using my recorder uh, my camcorder obviously and zooming in on the things I had to use uh, GLX OSD for Linux and D3 was it D3D? Uh, what was that? So it was D3 D3D gear um, for the FPS counter on Windows, uh, just because it was being a right pain. Uh, but as you can see there on Linux, I, I sort of nudged my camera back. So then. But yeah, they're sort of both uh, battling frame rates at the moment. Uh, Windows always seems to be averaging a bit higher than Linux at the moment, uh, be it only like three to four frames per second, a bit quicker, but. As you can see, Linux, uh, the frame rate counter is a bit more on point as it shows exactly what it is instead of just 48, it's just showing, it's showing like 48 point something. But so far, it's uh, not so good for Ubuntu. I mean, like I say, the, there isn't any crazy frame rate drops for either of the operating systems. Uh, they're thankfully both running uh, usually above 30 frames per second by the looks of it, uh, as it's reaching nearly over 70 there. But Ubuntu seems to be faring quite well. But yeah, if you want to see any certain games uh, being benchmarked, hopefully they have an in-game benchmarker because some of them they don't and it would be such a pain in the bum to, to actually benchmark them games and just because you have to line them up properly and it would be hard to replicate the gameplay in, in certain aspects. Um, but yeah, on, on this one I'm actually just doing the single screen and then a couple of minutes and I'll do triple screen just to compare them as well. As they're quite close there actually, but the frame rates are always so very close, but they're not on par. Oh, they, they are getting very close with each other. This is tessellation on like extreme as well, I think, so it's running these quite to the max. Uh, but on the single screen I am doing anti-aliasing uh, on uh, times 8, whereas when I turn it on the triple screen test, uh, it's off anti-aliasing. Ooh, Linux seems to hit 100 a bit quicker there, but it's both evened out. There's never really a diff like a big difference in frame rate, as they're both hitting the same then. It's always at least 5 frames per second at the max. As you can see there, it was four frames per second, three frames per second difference. It just seems that Windows has been a bit more consistent. It's the frame rate is staying a bit more steadier, whereas at Linux it's a bit up and down, but it's to the point where you can't really tell a difference. Uh, as it seems Linux hit 86 and a bit quicker. Ooh, bit, bit of a difference there. Was that five frames per second different? But yeah, this is a great benchmarking tool. It, it, it is free for anyone to use the basic edition. I think this is nearing the end of the 920 by 1080. And there you go. As you can see, Windows did overall do better. Linux had a, a better minimum FPS, but the maximum FPS didn't really compare. And it, av Windows tended to average a little bit better than Linux. But the score says for itself. They were very close and evenly matched near enough. So it's a pretty good job. Okay, so moving on to triple screen. 
Uh, this was a bit of a pain to get working with the frame rate uh, on Windows, especially with D3D gear. Like the the frame rate counter was a bit stretched. Um, so as you can see there, um, but I can still read it a little bit, thankfully. Uh, so hopefully it's not too bad as I'm adjusting my camera a bit there. But yeah, the resolution is 5760 by 1080, so it's a pretty damn good resolution. It shows quite a lot. Uh, and it seems that we're starting exactly where we left off, with Windows being a little bit higher. But it seems with this test that the, the difference isn't as major as what it was in the single screen test. So Windows tends to be like one frame per second a little bit faster. So you can see that it's two, it's always two or three or or one. So Linux is holding up quite well in this little test here. As it is quite a strenuous test, is triple screen gaming. Now, I'll try and do this with most of my games. Usually I saw that Penguin Recordings likes to do max settings and uh, minimum settings. So I'm just going to try the max settings and then the triple screen as well. Just, uh, just for a sim an interesting test. Because I don't think they've been shown that much before. There's barely any difference, like... Just the shame is that Windows is always that one frame per second ahead. And it's, it's curi I'm curious to see, understand why it is always that one frame per second ahead. Why? How is it gaining that <laughs> one FPS? Uh, I did uh, only run the game so there was nothing really running in the background of these videos it was just the game and obviously the the frame rate runners as well the, the D3D gear and OSD thingy majobby <laughs> as I'm forgetting the names damn so there's not really much difference Windows is holding up pretty well same for Linux but it is a very nice looking engine, is the Uni Unigen. Uh, I think that's how you say it anyway, Unigen. It would be nice to see it in more games. I know they released Oil Rush a few years ago, but it wasn't that popular. Uh, I never really got into it. I've actually got a physical copy of that game as well, so it'd be pretty cool to install that and have a little bash on it. See if there's a little benchmarking tool on that. Ooh. But it would be interesting to see, uh, maybe test. Yeah, on Windows, the DX11 side, see how much of a hit it takes, uh, if much. Because obviously, like I said at the start, you can run the Windows version with OpenGL, DX9, DX10, or DX11. So, whereas obviously in Linux, you can just use the OpenGL. But this is a problem here uh, with the frame rate counter that I was using on Windows is that you can't properly see the frame rate counter on the darker bits. So I'm going to try and get the MSI Afterburner one working properly, uh, as it wasn't with with this game, with this uh, benchmark, sorry. Okay, so... Still, even when it's showing quite a lot on the screen, it's still... Averaging pretty much the same. I'm curious to see what the end result is for this. And it's a shame that most games don't include that end result thing because it would be nice to see the average sort of frame rate for most games. Obviously, uh, with this benchmark tool, it's great because it shows you the frame rate and it, it can also show you the, the graphical settings just to sort of prove to you guys what I've been running it on. Which for this one, it should be Tessellation on Extreme. Uh, and like I said before, anti aliasing should be just uh, on uh, off. Sorry. Forty-eight. Ooh. As we've ended the result, I should zoom in now. So, FPS thirty-two point seven compared to thirty-three point six. Minimum of nine point two on Linux. Minimum of thirteen point five on Windows. Thirty-two point three on Linux and seventy-three point four on Windows. So, it's not a bad test. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this benchmark and suggest one that you want to see in the future. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.
and peace out. See you later.